workaholic, but I have no process. I write when I can, um, and I watch, I procrastinate a lot. I generally will watch like Law and Order SVU <laughs> for about 12 hours, so I'm not kidding. And then at like two in the morning, I'm like, oh, I guess I should get some writing done. I found my voice by reading first and looking for people who had stories that I could relate to or who had skin that I could relate to, lives that I could relate to. Everyone has a voice. Mm -hmm. um, it's a question of just finding the courage to use it. And the first step in finding the courage is knowing that no matter who you are or how quiet you think your voice is, your voice matters. You're never going to please everyone with what you say, but you don't have to worry about that. You have to only satisfy yourself to start with. And I think with that kind of acceptance, you can begin to use your voice, regardless of any insecurities you feel you have to have an innate confidence in yourself and your voice, because if you don't believe in your voice, then no one else is going to listen. I generally act like no one's reading anything I do. Uh -huh. um, I, I delude myself into thinking that so that I can have the courage to put myself out there. I look at my women friends and they are the ones who are sort of the glue that keeps me together. When I was younger, and I even admit this in the essay, I was one of those girls who was like, oh, my friends are guys. You know, like, that makes me cool. Um, I just want to hug her. Girl, no. <laughs> we are amazing creatures, and we have so much working against us that we need to bond together. You know, I think you have to believe in your voice. You have to work really, really hard. Um, and you have to be ambitious, and you have to own that ambition. You have to say, yes, I want whatever your ambition is. Mm -hmm.